Are you looking for an exciting tool to select a contest winner or the next student to answer a question in class or the next team to present during a meeting? And do you want a tool that you can customize to make the experience unique to your presentation? Well, let's go have a look at Wheel of Names because we can do just that. The Wheel of Names will allow me to select a random group or a random individual from a list of names and then that could be for a contest, that could be the next person to present, the next group to present. So let's go in here and I'm just going to grab a list of all of my students. So we'll copy my students and I'll just paste them into the Wheel of Names. So these now become all of the participants that are eligible to be drawn from the exciting Wheel of Names. Let's, let's show an example of that. So I spin the wheel, you can see that we hear a ticking sound, and it's going to select somebody here. It's going to select Duke Nukem. So as you can tell, these are actually video game characters. I don't have all these cool people in my class. I have much cooler people in my classes. So underneath here, I'll go remove, and that will take Duke Nukem out of the draw for the next time. You can even see that it'll keep track of all the different results I have, and I can continue to spin. You'll notice that I could start a new wheel altogether. I could open an existing wheel that I have saved, so you can actually save your wheels. And I can even share this out with a URL that others can come in to spin the wheel and to look at the results of the wheel as well. But one of the things that we can do is we can customize this wheel. So maybe instead of a clicking sound and confetti and applause at the end, I want to change this a little bit. So I'm going to go into customize this, and we have choices. We can customize what happens during the spin, after the spin and the overall appearance of the wheel. So instead of a ticking sound, I think I want to have something maybe like a drum roll. So I might have a drum roll. There are a lot of different music choices that I have. So for example, you know, underneath pop music, I could have a spaceship sound. So there we go, spaceship sound. I'm just going to go ahead and, and keep it as a drum roll or a ticking sound. I can adjust the volume here. I can go in and spin slowly. Um, if there's duplicates, I'll display them. I can show the title. And then I can reduce the amount of time that the spin occurs. So let's just make it like a really fast four second or five second spin. It depends how much tension and excitement you want to create. In terms of the maximum number of names that are visible on the wheel, you could have, you know, up to a thousand or 500. Now I'm hoping that your class size is a little bit less than 500 students. I mean, I've seen some overcrowding before, but if this was a contest at a conference or if this was a lot of participants pins on a live stream, then maybe that number would be useful. I'll go into the after spin. What happens after the spin? Right now we have subdued applause. Maybe what I want to do is after the spin, I want to go in and do a mystery bell. Let's see what that sounds like. Ooh, so maybe we're doing mysterious book presentations in class, or maybe we want to have a mystery of who wins. So underneath here, I can have that sound. I can adjust the volume. I can also animate that winning entry so it'll pop out of the screen. I can launch some confetti if I'd like to. I can go in and actually automatically remove the winner from the draw if I want after five seconds. Uh, maybe I'll have a pop-up message here, and I'll say, um, time to present. So this will be whoever has won, it'll be their time to present. And then I can even go in and have that removed button displayed so I can take them out of the next draw. So you have some options around what happens after the spin. Underneath the appearance, I actually have quite a few customizations I can make. So for example, I could have one color per section and then it sections off by the names. I could also put a background image. So you can see there's a bunch of different ones I can have in there. So maybe I want to have it spin out of the universe to find out who is going to be selected to do the next presentation. And you can change the background color and put contours on there as well. So now that I've customized it, notice I've got my names on here and I can spin them from there. And I'm going to go in and I can even make it full screen. So now we can be in class and say, okay, whose turn is it to present? And I can spin. Drum roll, please. And it looks like Luigi won. A little bit of a weird music for that, but you can customize it and make sure things are synced up. And then I can hit remove. So now Luigi will not be in my next draw. I can exit the full screen and just make sure that it's working the way that I want it to work. You also have some other options here. So you can go in and you can do things that, for example, import Twitter users. 
So let's say, for example, you're giving a conference. You could use a hashtag for the conference and pull in the you know first 1,000 people to enter. I could import them in and put them on a spinning wheel. I could go in and link it out to a Google spreadsheet. And I could even go into dark mode. And then, of course, I can register this so that I can do things like save and open and do all sorts of cool things with the wheel of names. And there you have it, a great tool, super easy to use, really accessible and very useful. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit like, subscribe and share with colleagues that can also benefit from this information. Thank you so much for watching.